What's going on, guys? This is Tony Hannity's with LazyTechGuys.com. I'm here with Lauren Offers. She is the director of marketing for Autonomy, she's, and she's going to talk to us about an awesome app called Arousma. So, thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being in our offices yeah. here. So, why don't you go ahead and tell the uh, our audience w what Arousma is, how it kind of came about, and sure. uh, w what's all about. So Arousma is um, an augmented reality platform that bridges together the real world with the digital and the virtual. And what we're able to do is bring a poster, a painting, a photograph, it could be um, you know, even a 3D object or a real life building. We can use our mobile devices now to point at it and bring it to digital life. So what mobile devices can be used with this technology? So uh, it's a free app that's available for iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, 4S, iPad 2, 3, and then any kind of high-powered Android device. Okay. And um, as a user, as a consumer, um, when we are out and about, how do we know where to use the Erasmus technology? Right. So at the moment, what we have is we have our what we call our Fat A, and it's similar to, say, a Facebook F or a T for Twitter. It's a big capital A, and that's kind of your call to action to let you know that there's something behind it. What we have in other ways in the real world when you don't have necessarily that posted on the front of a building, you get a little alert, either a sound or a vibration, and that tells you there's something nearby and it'll show you the coordinates of what you need to look for and where you need to find it. One thing that you guys unveiled in the last couple of weeks was the partnership with Marvel Comics. Yes. So why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. A really exciting partnership. We're thrilled to have announced it at South by Southwest just a couple weeks ago. Um, Marvel came to us and was really excited about wanting to revolutionize and digitize their comic books, but they realized their fan base is very rooted into wanting to hold that physical, tangible object, that comic book itself. And so what they're looking to do is really bridge that gap between their print comic book and their digital. And so Erasmus kind of was the perfect answer to that uh, that problem. And we just started uh, having conversations, and they were really excited about the flexibility that Erasmus offered. So having our back-end content management system where they were able to upload you know, lots of different images and swap them out if they wanted to and really have that flexibility to play around within our app. Um, and then the fact that we were able to take our viewer, our browser, and skin it, white label it with the, the Marvel's own branding was a huge win for them because um, the, you know their, their fans know Marvel. So what kind of things can, I guess, comic book readers expect from that technology too? So it's really about uh, exclusive footage and being able to unlock uh, digital content bonus features. So you can imagine editor's commentary and pencil to ink sketches, um, even you know background character bios. So, so what happened in the prequel before this comic book? And really telling a richer story that goes beyond just the printed page. Um, and then you know 3D. So a, a printed book only has so many dimensions to it. But now with Erasmus, you can actually have these characters come to life and see them interacting with each other. So the technology that you guys are using is really awesome with the with the tracking I mean is that something that you guys create here or so um, our technology comes from the same labs as our parent company autonomy okay. um, it's really powerful image and pattern recognition technology and the core of autonomies is really founded in meaning based computing and that's the idea it's a really simple concept it's getting computers to think much like humans so being able to conceptualize and understand human friendly information that's unstructured um, so that could be like the millions of tweets that are out there, mm -hmm. or you know, hundreds, countless hours of video footage that's on YouTube, getting the computers to understand it without having to have a human manually tag it or read those texts. Um, so they've taken that core concept, our founder, and he was waiting for, sort of for that intersection between when the processing power on the mobile devices was ready to you know handle our technology. Sure. And that timing was about um, June of last year. So that's when we launched. Right. And um, since then, we've seen huge adoption from commercial partners in pretty much every industry. We have over 3,000 uh, 3, partners right now and over 3 million downloads. Right. So with all those partnerships, um, you've got schools. You, yeah, you've education's got, been one of the right. earliest adopters. You've got Marvel. Um, I mean, we even saw some posters from Harry mm -hmm. Potter, Despicable Me. Um, as a user, if I want to do this, not as a company, right. 
you have things called auras. Yes. Like, what is that? How do you do those? Okay, so uh, what's amazing is Erasmus allows you to make your own user-generated content. And so we've seen people out there that are taking the world by storm where they are able to overlay their own you know, videos or animations or whatever they really want, however they conceptualize, concept, conceptually see the world, they can now create it. So for example, if I were to send you a birthday card, I could now have a video of myself over top of it, you know, waving to you and saying hello and um, oh, wow. making okay. it really personalized. Mm -hmm. um, so we're seeing that in the classroom, educators are, teachers are taking this concept and not necessarily even going through our content management system, but just really getting their students to interact and engage with Erasmus within the app itself. You can mm -hmm. do this all within the app. Um, you know, there's we have a hundreds of 3D animated characters, so like you can have now a T-Rex coming down the street with you on Market Street, chasing after you, and just really fun things um, that you can play around with inside Erasma. So there's three ways to work with Erasma. Um, you can either use Erasma Lite, which is our app with our branding, and that's you know available to download. Those are where you have those super auras. You can skin our app or white label us, which is essentially going to look just like Erasma, except it's going to have your own icon that you download from the store. Or thirdly, you can take our core technology, our free SDK, and plop that technology into another app and make that one more feature of functionality within a larger app. So for example, um, Sundance used us for their app, uh, the oh, Sundance okay. Festival. And um, there's been some fashion designers, Netta Portes used us where they've created a, our kernel technology inside their larger app. In reference to the future of mm -hmm. Erasmus, what do you guys have planned for for the uh, for the users of the SDK, or just for e everyday people that are really taking advantage of uh, augmented reality? We've got big plans. Um, we <laughs> are always looking further down the line into the yeah. future. Uh, I'd say nearest term where we're really seeing our development is with our 3D gaming engine. So this is the idea of getting you to be able to naturally interact using your gestures with um, a printed an object or a virtual object. So being able to manipulate the virtual world more naturally with your hands or your feet or whatnot. So um, that would be the near term, but like I said, you know, we see that going a step further down the line where you're not necessarily having to hold your mobile device, but it could be in, you know, eyewear or contact lenses or who knows. I mean, <laughs> right now we're just at this very early mm -hmm. dawn in the beginning, but um, yeah, the opportunity is out there. Okay. And one thing I did notice, well, I, I've been an Android user since 2008, right. and one of the first browsers uh, of augmented reality that I started using was actually Layer Browser. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what differences or benefits do you have over them um, that you would, you know, uh, recommend people to use uh, Erasma? Sure. So with Erasma, you know, it's really about melding those two worlds: the physical with the real. Uh, sorry, the real with the virtual. So all of a sudden, as you saw, like in the Despicable Me poster or the Harry Potter poster, it's really blending those two worlds. It's not necessarily using your GPS coordinates. You don't need to have internet con connectivity. So once Erasma has already, you know, been downloaded. All of that is, the, all the processing is done on your device itself, oh. which makes it really fast and really speedy. So you don't need internet connection. So you can be doing, I do this on the airplane all the time. Oh, wow. People next to me are like, this girl's crazy, but they also, it catches their attention. They're like, how the heck mm -hmm. are you doing that? And yeah, it's because the only time you need to be with the internet is when you're going through like a Wi-Fi hotspot and you want to get new content. Okay. So if you're, if you're an advertiser, you're changing your daily deals, you're changing your content, that's where you'd need to be connected to get something new and fresh. But um, once it's down on your device, it becomes available to you. Um, and then the other user-generated content piece, which we already touched on, but uh, is a huge uh, you know, differentiator for us, the fact that you can create your own auras out there. And this really makes it a consumer sort of platform for people to play around with today. OK, great. Well, thank you so much, thank Lauren. You. I really appreciate your time. Why don't you go ahead and let them know again where they can, they can find the yes. application. Download it today. It's a Rasma Lite. It's available from the App Store, the Android market. Um, it's a lot of fun, so take the back of a $20 bill when you first download it, point to the back of the $20 bill, and let me know what you think. And if you have a $20 bill, give it to me. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Uh, this thank is you. Tony Hannity's with Lazy Tech Guys, and we're out.